Hi, Barry Foster here and welcome back to Antipodean Journey. This is episode number nine with the Blacktown Spartans in the New South Wales Platinum League. And today we kick off a brand new season. We've got a home game against St George FC. But before we go and play the Saints, this is what's been happening with uh, players coming into the club and a few leaving as well. Um, let's just quickly run through them. We have signed Philip Kankar. Uh, a young central defender, only 20 years of age, on a free, and we are expecting quite big things from young Mr. Kankar this season. We've also signed on a free Alex Becerra. Um, he's 29. He can play um, central defence or left fullback. He's not very tall, so I think he's going to be a very good backup for the left fullback position. We also signed on a loan from Sydney FC, Stephen Stanick Floody. Now he's a young midfielder, only 19, but once again we uh, we are hoping that he'll perform very well for us in the centre of the park. And also Sam Munro, he's 31 years of age. Um, he's going to be our new playmaker, and as you can see, he's got a very good flair figure of uh, 15, very determined, a little bit aggressive, still got some pace, but we we are hoping that he's going to be a very good um, playmaker for us. We've also signed um, Jamie Signorello from Canberra, Croatia on loan. Now, Signorello will be our first choice keeper. He's only 20, but so far I think he's performed quite well um, between the sticks in um, pre-season matches. So we're quite pleased with, uh, with him. Also, Alexander Durisic, another loan player from um, Sydney FC, only 18, central defender but we quite like his attributes there too. And also from Sydney FC, we've done very well from Sydney FC with loan players. Zach Sapsford is a, a young uh, striker, only 19, and I have a feeling he will be leading our uh, attacking line, certainly at the beginning of the season. And also um, Matthew Hatch, we signed him on a free from the Central Coast Mariners. He's only 21, and I think he's gonna make a very good left fullback. Uh, leaving the club, there have been a couple of players who have left the club, um, first team players anyway, Nikolai Pintor. Um, we put him on the transfer list. He has gone to Perth uh, SC. We put him on the transfer list mainly because he was earning $1,200 a week and we really couldn't justify such a, a large um, uh, payment every week for a player. He wasn't the only one on $1,200 a week, so he unfortunately has left us. He wasn't a bad player for us last season, but uh, a wage budget, unfortunately, we had blown that slightly out of the water and we had to take um, action. Uh, also leaving us was uh, Jaden Barner. He's gone on a free to the Sunshine Coast Fire. And two young players, Salah and Garnet, have both gone out on loan. So that basically wraps up the um, the players coming into the club and a few that have um, left us. When we look at the um, league preview for this season, um, the betting people have us currently coming maybe fourth at 14 to 1 odds which I really wouldn't um, argue about. I think we've got a better squad than we had last season. Manly United, of course, are favourites of 13 to 8 with the Mount Druid Rangers at 11 to 4 and the Bonnie Rig White Eagles at 4 to 1. So that's uh, that's how we're situated with the, uh, the betting anyway for this particular league. Um, if we look at um, club vision very quickly, you'll see that uh, the board want us to finish top half. I think that's very, very doable. And with the Waratah Cup, once again, they are not really fussed about that competition. And the board currently have us, um, they're giving us an A minus. They're quite delighted with our leadership qualities at the moment. And when we look at um, our pre-season, it wasn't a bad pre-season at all. It started off a little bit rocky. We lost 3-1 uh, to Bankstown City in the opening game. But then against uh, the Wollongong Wolves, the Mounties Wanderers and the Marconi Stallion, Stallions, we had a very, very good 2-1 victories and also a 3-1 victory against the Stallions. And then with the Bonnie Rig White Eagles, we gave them a 4-0 thumping, which was uh, very good to see. In the final game, we did play Blacktown City. Now, Blacktown City are an A-League one side, and we only lost one goal to nil. So I thought that was a pretty good showing against uh, an A-League one side. And you've got to remember, the New South Platinum League, it's actually fourth tier. So to lose 1-0 to an A-League one side, I think the boys played pretty well. 
Um, Money-wise, we've um, still got over $56,000 in the bank, which is very good to see. And we do have a parent club. The board did get one for us, or we did select them. The Western Sydney Wanderers are our parent club, and they'll be paying us an annual fee of just under $57,000 a year, which is very nice. They will loan players to us, but unfortunately, we did try to get about four or five, maybe six of their young players on loan, and every single player turned us down. <laughs> that was a little bit disappointing, but luckily, uh, Sydney FC did come to the rescue and uh, we picked up three of their players on loan. But anyway, without further ado, let's uh, go and uh, play the opening game of the season. It, it is a home game at uh, Blacktown Football Park and it's against the St George FC. So let's see how we go against the Saints. Okay, so here's the uh, the starting 11 for today. We're sticking with the 4-3-3 formation from last season. We'll have Signorello between the sticks, Hatch, Bandor, Cancar and Ward across a back line, Stanick, Floody and Munro with Hayhurst in midfield, Sindrick on the left, Ireland as usual on the right, and Sapsford will lead the attacking line. And sitting on the bench, we'll have Brown, Durisic, Habanamana, Apostolopoulos, Krilja, Amiko, and Jeffrey. So let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, opening day of the season. I'm not going to um, put any pressure on the boys. All the best out there. Have some fun. Let's see how they go with that, uh, that pre-match team talk. And it's St George getting us underway in our opening home game of the season. St George in their typical red and white playing strip. Pretty good uh, pitch here at Football Park as usual. Not a bad uh, crowd in, I think, for the opening uh, game of the season. We've got quite a good crowd against uh, Blacktown City. I think we had over 2,500 fans there for that particular match. But anyway, this is St George with maybe an opening attack. Some patient passing from the uh, the Saints. And they're trying to look for a bit of an opening. Oh, well, that's um, Hatch making a very good interception there. That was uh, very good work by the, uh, the new left uh, fullback. So breezy, 19 degrees. It's only early March, 2022. Bit of a tentative start by both sides. No shots as yet. But uh, this season also with the Waratah Cup, what we're going to do is, since the board are not interested in that particular competition, we'll only show you games in the Waratah Cup if we get to the semi-final. Um, if there's a chance of us playing in a cup final, we'll show the games from the semi-final. But uh, I think with all other rounds, we'll mainly concentrate on the league this season because I think that's far more important. But anyway, this is uh, Blacktown Spartans with uh, possession. And this is uh, Hatch playing it to Sindrick. Sindrick uh, done pretty well on the left for us. Nice deep cross and that's, oh, I just headed wide. That was very close to the opening goal of, uh, of the match and also the season. But a little bit encouraging there to see that uh, from uh, from the boys. But uh, we'll call out some encouragement um, in maybe another four or five minutes. We'll just see what happens. But uh, St George uh, FC, they're um, tipped to come around about fifth or sixth. I think something like 25 to 1. So obviously they've got a fairly decent side too. This is Ireland making a very good run. Nice cross. Sapsford, ah, well... Yeah, butchered the header, got well under that. Didn't cause any trouble with the uh, the keeper. But at least we're getting uh, shots away compared to our visitors. And this is Sindrick again. Now Hatch can go for a bit of a gallop down the left. Why not? Can he do a nice cross? Well, he can. Uh, well, that was a fairly decent glancing header, but... Uh, Costa. Costa easily made the save. I think we'll call out some encouragement to the boys. It's been a fairly encouraging opening uh, 20 minutes to the match. Hopefully they'll uh, respond in a very positive way. 
But uh, we're about halfway through the first half and uh, St. Georgia yet to put a shot. So that into the match, so that's a little bit of a surprise. Anyway, this is Hayhurst and Ireland. Ireland with another good strong run down the left. Here's his cross, Sapsford gets his header to it, but that's another easy save for Costa. So we seem to be doing most of the, uh, the attacking in the game, which is good. Now this is Hatch. Can he play it forward for, Sen for Sendrick? No, he's going to go himself. Why not? Maybe he wants to be a winger. And here comes his cross. Not a bad one. Looking for Sapsford and got his head to it, but he couldn't steer it towards goal. So there we have it. Nine shots to zero. 60% possession. Two corners to nil. And it's still nil-nil on the scoreboard. But with maybe about 15 minutes to go in the game, I think... Um, I'll hold off uh, demanding more at this stage because most of the boys are playing pretty well. And it's good to see some of the uh, the attackers are rating seven or more. But it looks as though the opening 45 minutes might be goalless unless something happens in the final five or six minutes. And this is Bandor, I think, who sends a header just wide and over the bar. So we've certainly been knocking on St George's door. We've uh, just been unable to um, kick it in. There's still maybe four or five minutes left in the half, and this is Cendric again down the left. He'll cut it back to Stanick Floody. Plays it into Hatch. Now this is Hayhurst to Munro. Island, oh, well, nice move, but until the final, uh, the final shot, he got well under that. Put of meters over the bar. So I've got a feeling that might be the half uh, halftime scoreline of nil nil, and that's probably the action from the opening 45 minutes. St George yet to have a shot at goal. And that's it, nil nil before 510 fans. Let's go and chat to the boys. Okay, lots to choose from at half time, but let's do the old point the finger, and I'll th I think I'll tell the boy it's time for everyone to dig in and uh, give it everything we've got, because I think we do deserve to win this, uh, this match. We've been certainly the better side in the opening 45 minutes. And this is uh, the Spartans with uh, possession. Hatch going for another run. Oh, he's, uh, well, he's... Okay, I think he's got a free kick. Fair enough. But nothing came from that free kick. Looks like uh, Matthew Hatch doesn't mind uh, running down the uh, the left wing. But uh, anyway, this is St George with a bit of rare possession. We haven't seen them with the ball all that much since the uh, the opening five ten minutes of the uh, of the game. And they're doing some rather patient passing. I'll give them that. But hopefully they won't uh, punish us with any patient passing. But not a bad ball out here on onto the left. This is a fairly good run. and This will be a header. Oh, good save by Signorello. I think that was on target. So already our new keeper has uh, made a pretty good save. But uh, St George have a corner. Can we defend corners? Very deep, but that's been headed away by Hayhurst. Some good defending by the midfielder. But St George are going to bring it back. And he's a bit of a deep cross. And it's going to be pumped back out to, the I think, the same player. He basically sends it back to where it came from. And, well, Munro, he has given away a silly foul there. This might uh, test our keeper if they've got a good taker of free kicks. Let's see how he goes. And he drives it. Oh, does he ever? Okay, 1-0 to the Saints. Can he take a free kick? Well, there's your answer. And Signorello just couldn't get a hand to that. So the Spartans, after all the play in the first half, find themselves down one goal to nil. To the visitors. I don't think we really deserve that. But anyway, there's plenty of um, the second half left. 
A little bit disappointing that um, Stanek Flood is rating 6.3. We expected a fair bit from the young fellow this season. But uh, we'll just see what happens in the next 5 to 10 minutes. But here we have another highlight. Now we've got to somehow get uh, possession back from the Saints. We certainly don't want to concede a second goal. So here's uh, once again St George, very patient with their passing. We'll just wait for this highlight to hopefully come to an end or hopefully we can pinch possession. But they're now moving it into it. Well, this is a good move. Oh, well, good save by Signorello. That could have easily been 2 0. So St. George has certainly picked their game up in the second half. And this is Eunice. He'll, well, his, his shot was blocked now. Ireland. Okay, end of the, uh, the highlight. I think what we'll do, we'll um, demand more from the boys because they've got to pull their um, socks up because St. George have come out and they're ready to play in this second half. They've only had five shots, but they've, uh, they've got the important ball in the back of the net. And I think what we'll do, we'll make our first substitution in the game. Um, this is going to be a bit of a hard one to make, but I must admit, um, young Stanek Flutty is not doing very well in midfield. So I'll bring on Kriljar for Stanek Flutty. Kriljar can play a ball winning midfielder. Let's see how he goes. The, uh, the, the forward line of Ireland, Sendrick and Sapsford, they're still rating rather well. But I think we'll um, try and encourage the team. We're into the 70th minute. And after such a promising 45 minutes to find ourselves down a goal to nil. I must admit it was a very well struck goal, but I don't think we really deserve that. But anyway, this is Hatch. We had a good first half. Now Krulja. He crosses it for Hayhurst. He can have a crack. Oh, he. Oh, I, th I thought that was in the back of the net, <laughs> but it missed. <laughs> it wasn't a bad effort. It is quite. You just couldn't quite get it on target. But I think we'll make a, a couple of um, substitutions once again. Sapsford's looking nervous. I don't know why. Um, he didn't have a bad uh, first half. But we'll, bring, we'll bring on uh, young uh, Michael Jeffrey. Uh, see how he goes in the final 18-odd um, minutes of the match. And also, I think we'll bring on um, young Amiko for Ireland on the right. Miko has often done quite well off the bench. But we're heading into the final maybe 10 minutes of the match. I think we certainly do deserve an equaliser and I think we'll kick it into attacking play. And once more I'll demand a little bit more from the team and hopefully somebody can pull a rabbit out of the hat. And this is Jeffrey, and he fires a pass all the way back to Hatch. We can bring it forward. And he does. Now, can he get a good cross into the centre? Well, maybe Krilja will. He's looking for Ward on the right here. Now, Hayhurst. Now, this is Ward again. One of our players is standing in offside position, still is. I hope they don't give it to him. This is Munro to Jeffries. He tries his shot, stung the hands of the keeper, Costa. But he'll get the rebound. Well, okay, maybe uh, six, seven minutes left in the match. Can we, can we get this equaliser? Can we? Okay, four minutes of added time. Let's go very attacking. Roll the dice. 18 shots to 9, and this is the visitors with a free kick, and they've played it straight down to Bandor. Now Munro playing it long, looking for a Miko, but uh, that was over his head. So this is Eunice for St. George. 
and all they've got to do really is keep possession in the final few minutes and they'll pick up three away points. Good tackle by Kruljar. Now Sindrik, can he lead a counter-attack? Now Jeffrey, he's got fresh legs. He's not quite through. This is Sindrik again. He's got players in the box. He's running very, very wide. And here comes his cross. Oh, and Amico, he just couldn't put his header on target. Well, that might have been it, I think. I think that might have been our chance to um, score an equaliser. I think it is. Maybe one last highlight. We need to get the ball into the box and quick smart. Come on, Hatch. Here it comes. Who's on the end of it? But unfortunately, it's a St George player. And that's it. The whistle has gone. And in the opening day of the season, we fall 1-0 to the Saints with uh, Quilgan getting a 48th minute goal, which I must admit, um, I don't think they really deserved. When you looked, uh, look at the match stats, 20 shots to 9. We, we have much better XG, much better possessions, 62% and 8 corners to 3. Anyway, let's go and chat to the boys. Well, opening day of the season, I'm not going to throw a water bottle at, bottle at them or thrash my arms around, but I'm certainly going to point the finger and say it's disappointing. We didn't win considering we're on top and had our chances. Let's go and find out how the other teams fared in the opening round. Okay, on goal difference at the moment, it's the uh, the Mount Druid Rangers uh, heading the list, but uh, just looking at some of those results, the Bonnie Rig White Eagles, a 1-0 victory over Hakoa. Manly United losing to Bankstown City at home, two goals to one. The Mounties Wanderers also losing at home to the Northern Tigers and the Mount Druid Rangers beating Rydalmere Lions, three goals to one. It's only one game. We've got uh, a long season ahead of us. Let's go and see who we're going to play next. Well, as you can see from that um, headline there, Blacktown Spartans unlucky in defeat. I certainly wouldn't argue with that. But our next game is uh, in only, uh, well, seven days time. It's a week, uh, a week away. And that's uh, an away game to Bankstown City in the league. But looking at our schedule, I think what we'll do, we'll come back uh, for the Northern Tigers match. That is another home game for um, the Blacktown Spartans. So that'll be in our next video. So that's the uh, the video for today. I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's an opening day defeat. 1-0 at home to St George FC. I hope you have enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do. Until next time, I'm Barry Foster saying it's goodbye from me.